Hi guys, um, welcome to a new series that I'm doing. Um, it is the Kings and Queens of England series and go through all the Kings and Queens of England starting with Egbert who um, in 827 he was recognised as King of All England but I'll get to that later. Um, he's Egbert but he's also known as um, Ecgbert. He was born about 769, and um, being so far in the past, not much is uh, known about him. Um, his dad was um, Ilmund of Kent, um, we don't know who his father was. And to Elizabeth II, he was, he's the 34th great-grandfather. He is from the House of Wessex, and he descended the throne in 802 AD. He's married to Red Burr of Francia, which um, nowadays is called France, obviously. Um, he had only one child, called Athelwulf, and he died in 839, and he was buried at Winchester, and he was succeeded by his only son, Athelwulf. Um, in 827, he was recognised as King of All England, um, and he defeated the King the Vikings and the Cornish at Kingston down in Cornwall but apart from that not much is known about him and nothing much actually happened um, but other things happened in his reign is that he conquered um, the neighbouring kingdoms of Kent, Cornwall and Mercia and by 830 he was also acknowledged as sovereign of East Anglia, Sussex, Surrey and, North and Northumbria and was, and was given the title of Bretswalder, Anglo-Saxon ruler of the British, and during the following years he led expeditions against the Welsh and the Vikings. Um, the year before his reign he defeated um, a combined force of Danes and Cornish at Kingston Down in Cornwall, um, so he was a fairly violent king. Um, that is um, all we've got on um, Egbert, but of course, in later videos, um, when we know a bit more about the about the king or queen, um, I'll be able to give you a bit more information about it. So until then, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your mates about me. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time.